Good morning and welcome to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac, president of Roby Electric, and along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies, we are your hosts. Thank you for spending your Sunday morning with us. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's andrewroby.com. Trent, good Sunday morning to you. Hope you had a good week. I have had a wonderful week and uh, a good start to the summer. I think, what, Monday was the first day of summer. That's right. Yeah, the, uh, was it Monday or was it Wednesday? Monday. Okay, I'll take the, your word for it. Or, or Monday. I'm pretty sure because my kids were out in the yard at 9.15 and it was still a little light outside. They were technically building a fort, and uh, I said, it's time to come in. And they said, no, Daddy, it's the longest day of the year. The sum, is that called the summer solstice? I think so. I was looking up my calendar. I do my little <laughs> calendar every morning. I think that's what it is. I hear you. I hear you. Astronomy was a class. I, I will say that uh, at, at, at the school I went to, Clemson, that um, most of the kids took freshman year because it was one of those classes that had a reputation for uh, for being a little easier than some of the others. Do you have any of those at Chapel Hill? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I took a couple of them, actually. <laughs> I think they're pretty popular right now. I hear you. I hear you. No, it definitely got me through as well. My dad had the crooked better. eye. I said, what are you taking that for? I said, come on, man. Leave me alone. Underwater basket weaving. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows the couple easy classes I took, and I was not an athlete. Yeah. But uh, you still had to study and read, though. I will say, they, See, nothing at Carolina was easy in my world. Did you have a pretty good bowling average after getting out of school? I took bowling three times. Three times. Okay. I tried I to get into golf, but it was always full. But I'm scrawny, so I could, I still can't make the ball spin. I'm, I'm like a dead-on straight bowler. I hear you. And then I watch Kingpin. <laughs> we watched that with the kids about three weeks ago. That's a movie for the family. I'm telling you, I think I have the same hair. What's that guy's name, Roy Munson? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I went on a golf trip. I think it was a 23rd year golf trip uh with my buddy mike griffin who i talk about he, he has a group he goes sure. with the old citadel guys have been doing it and the, the the group saying i got the invite this year this is two or three weeks ago and you get a shirt and it's real flashy and my wife said man i look like something from kingpin <laughs> <laughs> i said well i got the hand in my closet no i'm kidding well, well, speaking of, now we're on the topic of sports here did you uh i know this has been been about a week since this happened but you uh Happy to catch LeBron James coming back three to one. Big baby Braun. Big baby Braun and Dustin Johnson finally winning a major. That's awesome. Yeah, one of uh, one of my good friends, uh, Brian and Jamie Ferris, texted me Sunday and said, "Hey, we're watching we're watching the U.S. Open, and our son Jackson said that that la- that guy looks like Mr. Trent." And she said Lowry, and I said, "Come on, really? I don't." <laughs> I might look like a lot of things, but I don't think I look like Lowry. And she said, "Oh no, it's the skinny one with the beard." So I wow. guess I guess I guess rednecks stick together because because while I was watching it uh, with my buddies, everybody was talking about how he's a redneck from South Carolina, something yeah. or coastal Carolina. I'm coastal. proud of the boy. Yeah, I, I am too. There was a little controversy, which is that's pretty amazing. He was able to get through that. They uh, they were holding a one stroke penalty over him the entire. I guess it was the back nine. And he still won by four. He said he did, he wasn't worried about that. Well, let's switch gears. We've got a great show today. Um, Brick McDermott from Cunningham and Company, expert in real estate, uh, mortgages, and anything that would have to do with uh, with transactions of residential property. I think he knows a little bit about commercial too, but his especially is uh, is residential. I'm telling you, Brick is is a professional. He's very personable. I've never really seen anybody on the residential mortgage side of the business as personable and as knowledge as knowledgeable as Brick about every week. It's a couple times a week I get an update on on all business and how it relates to the mortgage rates and stuff. Uh, so a very valuable person to know and to be a partner and do business with. I'm excited about having him as a partner with the Roby family and, and Roby Realty. We've had him on before and 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 mortgage rates are are out of this world they're so low right now residential no you're you're right we uh we have actually a personal experience with with my household we refinanced with brick and cunningham a couple of months ago and i think you're you're dead on the personal touch they provide uh in those emails i get them as well and i I get those types of emails from a ton of businesses and you know quite frankly a lot of them just hit hit the trash bucket and bricks are insightful, uh, and they do—they have some some teeth to them in explaining exactly why things are happening. 
which is good. I mean, I, it's not an industry I'm as familiar with as maybe you are um, it, with your experience with Ruby Realty, but uh, it is good. Brick's a, a definitely a professional. So just as mortgage rates are out of this world great, I watched a show the other night. Uh, it was with my kids, actually, which they know nothing about landing on the moon in 1969. I think it was July 1969. But this was the conspiracy theory that it was all made up in a movie studio to win the Cold War, take the advantage in the Cold War. And, uh, man, call me call me stupid, but I, I, I never have thought that. I literally think we landed on the moon. I, I did too, and I, I'm going to tell a horrible story here, but this, every time I hear someone say, we've landed on the moon, all I can think of is Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber walking out of the little bar in Aspen, and he sees the sign that says, we've landed on the moon, and he goes, we've landed on the moon, like he had just found out, and it's 1996 or something like that, which is a bad story, but I thought it was a good, good, good Sunday humor. Well, uh, the heat is back also, so are you, are you getting, a lot of, getting a lot of cool down calls we're we're getting a few with our HVAC partners. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're starting to come in a little bit more uh, more than they had uh, in the past, so to speak. So uh, yeah, getting a lot of. Also, we we've had a record amount of tropical storms so far this year, and that has had an impact on generator calls. Have we really? You like that, don't you? I, I'm never cheering for bad weather. We always say that we want them to come just up to the coast and then shoot out to the Atlantic and, and be done. Obviously, we wouldn't want to wish anything. Well, I know we got a transition to a break, but That's I've told it. this story before. In 1989, Hurricane Hugo came through, and I asked my dad, I said, man, I bet you, or it might have been 91, I said, I bet you made a ton of money on that. He said, man, I did so much work, worked so long, tripled my workforce, and didn't get paid on half my jobs. I hate storms. Wow. (laughs) Wow, that's interesting. Okay, Trent, we come back. We'll be joined by Brick McDermott of Cunningham & Company. You're listening to At Home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. Or go to WVT.com and click on the At Home with Roby page. We'll be right back. 